if you have watched the iconic American reality TV show, American Chopper on Discovery Channel, then you probably know about Rick Petko. He was one of the original cast of the show, featured on the Orange County Choppers, alongside the likes of Michael Tudel, Paul Tudel Jr., Vincent DiMartino, and Cody Connolly. With his help and other cast members, the show elevated to new heights since its first debut in March 2003. But unfortunately, Rick Petko retired from the show and Orange County Choppers altogether in 2016, after working there for more than 13 years. So, do you want to know why he left OCC? Let's take a look at why did Rick leave American Chopper? It wasn't really a secret, Rick had to commute for about three hours daily, one and a half hours for each trip, from his home to work and the way back. This is something plenty of people will relate to. Anyone would get tired of this, but Rick somehow put up with it for over a decade. Commuting for that much time obviously puts a toll on the body. Not to mention, that wasted time would be much better used for spending time with his family, or simply for personal hobbies. It clearly wore him down with every passing year, and the birth of his second daughter in 2016 seems to have been the final nail in the coffin. Finally, he decided to take his leave from the OCC that year to spend more quality time with his family. Rick admitted that he left the Orange County Choppers because he wanted to be closer to his home and family. He wanted to be a good family man for his daughters and his wife, a totally valid reason to be fair. After Rick went off camera, many fans were expectedly curious about his lifestyle. They wondered what was happening with his life after the show. Without further ado, let's see what is Rick doing after leaving the show. After leaving the show, he partnered with the Pocono Mountain Harley Davidson to open a custom fabrication shop in a dealership. It is located in Northeast Pennsylvania and provides the opportunity for customers to get a custom job done on their bikes right at the dealership without having to go to other shops. This is certainly a handy thing to provide and gives opportunities for a new source of revenue for the company. As for now, he has been involved in the Shovelhead project and constantly updates about the progresses on his Instagram. But this isn't just a random project, it's a special one, specifically requested by his ex-boss, Paul Tudel Sr. He will also be helping Rick with this project. Besides his dealership, he is pretty occupied with his family and personal matters. After getting married to his wife Brittany Cockerham in 2012, he has focused more of his attention on his lovely wife, ensuring she is leading a happy life, which is something every husband should do. Their wedding was featured on one of the episodes of The American Choppers, with both Michael Tutel and Paul Tutel Jr. in attendance. Additionally, he has two beautiful daughters, Everly and Lucy. The elder Everly was born in 2013, while the younger one was born in 2016. Two more reasons for Rick to focus even more on his family. It's clear that he loves his two daughters and his wife very much, as he often posts pictures of them together on his Instagram. A decade before even leaving the show and OCC, Rick created Dar PD and Co., which he operates from his home in Pennsylvania. He opened it mainly for having his own creative outlet. So, what does the company do? It mainly builds hand-fodged custom knives and wedding bands. One of the most popular products produced by his company is undoubtedly the Damasteel Knives. It even has its own website, where people can order from. The iconic patterns on the blades are what really made the knives stand out among its competitors. There is that slick and graceful feel, like something straight out of the Assassin's Creed. Who wouldn't want something like that? Rick Petko, in his own words, made a statement about the knives. What I love about the Dama Steel is how you can accentuate the patterns by contouring the profiles inside and out with grooves and the different finishes. Many people have never seen such a metal, and they just love it. Do you know that Rick really never wanted to be a TV star? It might not come as a surprise that Rick wasn't into that fame and fortune or being a reality TV star. Any of his fans will easily tell that he was a private guy, and he was just along for the ride. While some of his co-stars went on to become a real star, he was genuinely there only for his love and passion for what he does best. This is best backed up by the fact that 
he continued his same line of work even after leaving the show. He continues to involve himself in numerous races and bike shows even today. Even though many of his fans can't see him on the TV show anymore, they are still interested in seeing what kind of bikes he produces or what he does next. With that, we've come to end of the video. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.